egg spot. This video will show you how to remove the volume circuit board and Wi-Fi catcher switch on the Latitude E6420. Slide the latches over and lift the battery out. Remove the four hard drive screws. Slide the hard drive out of the laptop. Press the latch and remove the optical drive. Remove the two keyboard screws. Remove the five base cover screws. Lift the base cover off of the laptop. Remove the 10 bottom palm rest screws that are marked with a P or a P1. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully pry up the bezel from around the keyboard. Remove the four keyboard screws. Carefully lift the keyboard up. Unplug the keyboard cable and remove the keyboard. Remove the two top Palmer screws. Unplug the Palmer cables. Carefully unsnap and remove the palm rest from the base. Unplug the volume and Wi-Fi catcher switch cable. Remove the two screws. Remove the circuit board. Align the circuit board switch with the base switch. Test the switch to make sure it's aligned properly. Replace the two screws. Plug in the circuit board cable. Snap the palm rest onto the base. Plug in the two palm rest cables.
Replace the two top Palmer screws. Plug in the keyboard cable. Slide the top of the keyboard into the palm rest and snap the keyboard into place. Replace the four keyboard screws. Starting at the bottom, snap the bezel in around the keyboard. Close the laptop and turn it over. Replace the two P1 screws. Replace the eight bottom palm rest screws. Replace the base cover. Replace the five base cover screws. Replace the two keyboard screws. Slide the optical drive into the laptop. Slide the hard drive into the laptop. Replace the hard drive screws. Place the battery into the laptop. Press the battery down until it locks into place. View the video description below for links to replacement parts. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for choosing Parts People for your video tutorials.